welcome back to the channel and we're here with number one all right um top 10 most important ravens uh we did three honorable mentions we did 10 through two and now we're here with number one let's get it all right, to end this countdown off, before we even get started, I'm Coach Evans. You're watching Sip the Tally Films, a Baltimore Ravens channel. Um, if you have not subscribed and you like what you see, please do so. Hit the bell notification so you can be notified when these videos drop. And I hit the like, hit the like button. The like button helps me kind of get up in the algorithm, and and so more people can see the films and help the channel grow. So if you don't mind, hit the like button. Also share it if you you know have different groups or Ravens groups that you're in or whatnot. But without further ado, let's get to number one. And I'm gonna hit you with the fake drum roll. Greg Roman. Now I know y'all didn't see that coming. A lot of people thought Lamar was gonna be number one. But number one is Greg Roman. Let's talk about him statistically for a minute, and then I'll tell you why I think he's the most important Raven um, for the 2021 season. Uh, and his two years with the Ravens. Uh, his first year, he, well, let's, let's back up a little bit. He took over the OC role, kind of, sort of, when Lamar took over as the, the quarterback. He wasn't by title the OC. But so much of his stuff that he did in San Francisco and Buffalo with Kaepernick and Tyrod, they started to implement uh, into Baltimore's offense once Lamar took over as the quarterback for Joe Flacco. So he had a hat, maybe a fourth of a season as the OC in 18, then fully took over in 19 and 20. But we're going to give you the stats from 19 and 20. So 19 was the year Lamar won MVP. Excuse me. First overall offense, uh, yards per game first, um, points per game first, uh, what else, big rushing per game, we were third, and make sure I'm right. Yeah, rushing, we was, attempts we were first, yards we were first, touchdowns we were second. And in the passing game, which you know has not been the greatest, we were 32nd in the passing game, um, 27th in yards. Uh, we were first in TDs, though, because Lamar threw for 36 TDs, I think, but only 32nd in the um, passing game. Bounce the next year, still 32nd in the passing game, and which we know once you get to the playoffs, you got to have some kind of balance. And now, the reason why I think he's the most important Raven, can we run the ball? Do we have great run schemes? Yes, we do, on top of the fact that you have to account for the quarterback as a runner on every play. So that adds to the fact that we are a great running team. Lamar has had 1,000 yards, both, not both, the last two years. Uh, had right at 1,000 yards last year, had 1,200 the year before that. Um, we've had great running backs. We've had a decent O-line. He inherited Yonder, Stanley, Bozeman, um, Bo not Bozeman, Yonder, Stanley, Bozeman, and Brown. He inherited those guys, and they, you know, they were able to run the ball. And O-linemen love to run, to run block anyway. But the reason being he's the most important Raven is he has to open up another chapter in the playbook. And I'm using those words because those are the words he used earlier in the week. If he opens up another chapter with the weapons that we have at receiver now, you're looking at, let's just talk about the weapons for a second. Hollywood, Sammy Watkins, Mark Andrews, um, Bateman. And then you got an assortment of guys that kind of going to be on the back end. That's Wallace. Um, Boykin, uh, maybe Boyle. I don't know how healthy Boyle is. And um, then you got your backs. You got uh, J.K. Dobbins, you got Edwards, and you got Justin Hill who can catch the ball at the backfield. And the ultimate weapon, Lamar Jackson. So how he's going to mesh all those things together and put guys in. And I forgot about Duvernay. I did mention Duvernay. How he's going to mesh all those guys' talents and put them in positions to be successful is the major key to this whole thing. All the players, the players matter. Jimmy's and Joe's do matter. But the way he puts this stuff together and calls plays is going to be the the creme de la creme. If he can open up another chapter in the playbook, so to speak, and let us have a deep to intermediate passing game, the run game will be about the same, but the runs per, the yards per run is going to go through the roof. Going to go through the roof. And the passing efficiency should go up too because you can't really defend 
everything. You got to defend the all the way to the sideline and the whole depth of the field. If we can get that deep, the intermediate passing game going. And if we do that, because we got guys that can kind of go get not perfect balls now, it's the future's bright for us, man. Our roster is, is very, I'm sorry, our roster is very, very, very stacked. So, um, you know, that ends this series right here. And a lot of people thought Lamar was going to be number one. And Lamar is the most important Raven player. But I said Ravens. Greg Roman is the most important Raven. And honestly, you know, now I think back, think back on it, T. Martin and Doug probably should have been on this list too. They've at least been in the honorable mentions. So I'm going to honorably mention them now. T. Martin and Doug are probably some of the most important Ravens also. But the most important Raven, in my opinion. I like doing that with the camera. The most important Raven, in my opinion, is Greg Roman, g -Row. And I appreciate you guys for coming through, man. Uh, 11 videos down. We got a bunch done this weekend. Uh, this will be the third one for today. So enjoy your Sunday night, man. Enjoy your August. And um, Coach will be back soon with some current Ravens content. I appreciate you guys, man. And I'm out.